This is a review for the Eufy Robovac G30 and G30 Edge. We bought and tested the G30 Edge, but outside of included accessories and their color, these two robots are essentially identical, and so our review applies to both vacuums. The G30 Edge's airflow was measured at 15 CFM. Its suction was measured at 1.10 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the G30 Edge picked up all debris types very well. This robot has a fairly narrow direct cleaning path as its brushful compartment is only 5.75 inches wide. It picks up most debris directly, but also uses a side brush to pull debris from the perimeter of the robot toward this direct cleaning path. In addition, it's programmed to make multiple passes over any particular area during a particular cleaning run, and so it was able to clean up well in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the G30 Edge picked up 8 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the G30 Edge once again picked up all debris types well. It once again used its side brush and especially repeated movement over the same area to clean up well in this test over time. This robot also performed quite well cleaning edges. The G30 Edge uses gyroscope technology and an optical sensor on the bottom of the robot to navigate while cleaning, which allows it to clean in a very organized row-by-row -row pattern. A byproduct of this cleaning pattern is that the robot approaches each section of a particular edge head-on during any particular cleaning run, and approaching edges head-on is very good for cleaning them. The robot also moves close and parallel down the length of each edge twice during any particular cleaning run which further ensures that all edges are cleaned properly. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the G30 Edge did not perform very well on default power or on maximum power. Even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test on either power setting. In our human hair pickup test, the G30 Edge picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. More than 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its side brush and around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. This robot performed much better in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the G30 Edge's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the G30 Edge's row by row cleaning pattern demonstrated very well. Note how the robot not only cleans in vertical rows, but also cleans in horizontal rows during the same cleaning run. This crisscross cleaning pattern allows the robot to approach any particular piece of debris from multiple angles, which increases the probability of it being able to pick up any particular, especially difficult to pick up piece of debris. This pattern also ensures a certain level of redundancy. Each part of the room gets two passes, which further increases the probability of a complete clean on a single cleaning run. In our cluttered room testing, we again see the same row-by-row -row cleaning pattern as the robot navigates around the room. We also see how the G30 Edge, limited by gyroscopes and an optical sensor, doesn't always navigate very efficiently through tight spaces. Note how it maintains its vertical back and forth movement pattern on the top side of this rectangular obstacle, instead of just moving horizontally through the area as it does later on. Also note how it maintains its back and forth movement pattern as it first moves underneath the chair instead of moving in more efficient circular patterns in the same area as it eventually does later on in this test. The G30's movement patterns through tight spaces may at times be inefficient, but it gets good coverage in most such areas nonetheless. The only real problem area for the G30 Edge when it comes to coverage in this test is the bottom right side of the room. It missed this spot on each run in this cluttered environment. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is not a mapping robot. It does generate a very basic map of the area it's cleaning, which you can look at on the Eufy Companion app, but you can't really interact with the map. You can't label rooms on the map or set the robot to clean certain areas or stay out of certain areas of the map. You can use the included magnetic boundary strips to set physical boundaries around your home with the G30 Edge. The G30 Edge is called the G30 Edge because it comes with and is compatible with these physical boundary strips. The regular G30 does not come with and is not compatible with these strips. 
In this same chart, also note the G30 Edge's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the G30 Edge one of the smaller robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. It has good measured suction, and it performed very well in our carpet deep clean test. It also cleans edges very well, and it gets excellent coverage with its row by row crisscross cleaning pattern. Moving on to what we dislike about the G30 Edge, it struggled in our crevice test, and it struggled in our human hair pickup test, as over 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its side brush and around its brush roll. In terms of general recommendations, there's not much not to like about the G30 Edge. Yes, it did struggle in our crevice test, and yes, it did struggle in our human hair pickup test, but so did most other robot vacuums we tested. Otherwise, the G30 Edge is a terrific all-around performer. Compared to other robot vacuums, the G30 Edge as a gyroscope robot is a step up from most random robots and a step down from most mapping robots. The G30 Edge has much better pathing and coverage than most random robots, but lacks the mapping capabilities that is being able to label rooms and set virtual no-go zones that you get with most mapping robots. It is priced accordingly, a bit higher than most random robots and considerably lower than most mapping robots. All in all, this is a very good robot vacuum for what it is. It's a very good gyroscope robot vacuum and one that comes highly recommended. Get the G30 Edge if you want or need physical boundary strips, or get the otherwise identical G30 if you do not. See the description of this video for buy links for these robot vacuums and for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.